Do roofs have to be ugly? Not necessarily. Our ancestors had vegetated roofs, planted rooftops, and they were much more attractive than many of our flat roofs are today. In Germany in the last 30 years and in much of Europe, they've been putting vegetated roofs on for a variety of ecological reasons. We're starting to do that now in the United States too, and we're going to learn more about why today. At the Penn State Center for Green Roof Research, we've been evaluating how green roofs compare to flat black roofs for about four to five years. Flat black roofs are very functional. They keep our heads dry when it rains, but there are a lot of ecological problems associated with using these roofs. The black surface absorbs sunlight, and so it can get very hot in the summer, causes urban heat island problems, and heats up our buildings, making us spend more for air conditioning. The roof surface is impervious to water, so rain that hits it runs off directly into the stormwater sewer system, uh, causes flooding, causes water quality problems downstream. And because the roof surface is exposed to UV light from the sun, the organic materials, the plastics and things that we use in these rooftops break down and the roof fails and has to be replaced probably every 12 to 15 years for many flat black roofs. Green roofs can solve all of these ecological problems. We've all experienced how green spaces are cooler than paved surfaces. By putting plants on the rooftop, we cool the rooftop surface the same way. Green roofs can help reduce stormwater runoff because the soil absorbs some of the water and the plants use that water for their growth and transpire it back into the atmosphere. Over the last four years, we've collected runoff data from these roofs and have found that about 40 to 60 percent of the total rainfall in any given year is retained by the roof. A green roof can last two to three times longer than its flat black counterpart. In North America, the standard green roof consists of a roofing membrane followed by a plastic layer to help prevent roots from getting into the membrane, a felt layer to help distribute the water, a drainage mat which consists of some kind of egg crate type thing to drain water away with fabric on top, covered by a lightweight aggregate green roof media that we're going to put our plants in. The last step in the process is to plant your green roof. The plants that you are going to select depend on the depth of the soil in the roof. In this shallow three to four inch green roof system, we're going to select plants like sedums and ice plant that are drought tolerant and can stand the high temperatures that are going to be present on this roof. You can start the roof with either established plants or cuttings. You're going to plant them about three to four plants per square foot. If you do that, you'll have an established roof within about a year and get all of the benefits of the green roof. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.